our aspirins or Tylenol safer for severe headaches for people with CCI? I don't think either one is unsafe. If we're looking at the use of non anti-inflammatory drugs, then there's some information that's been published that would suggest that any drug like that, that interferes with the normal inflammatory healing response is going to cause more chronic pain in the long run. So if you had to look at it along that axis, you would say a tunnel might be a bit better, but again, you're probably going to see the same thing. And in both of those, you're going to see patients who become addicted to those, not addicted in the classical sense, meaning if they stop them, they're not going to go into delirium tremens or withdrawal, but they can't function in life without taking those drugs every day. And so when we get to a restorative regenerative medicine procedure, it becomes very hard to treat those patients because they can't function without it. And we have to take them off that stuff during the procedure. And they're like, wow, my pain went up. Why did it go up? Well, it went up because you were addicted to taking Tylenol. You were addicted to taking non anti-inflammatory drugs like naproxen, like ibuprofen, like Motrin. You couldn't function without, so we'll ha then have to restart those patients on those drugs just to get an apples to apples comparison as to where they are. So be very careful there. Those drugs are not to be used uh, and abused to function.